I begin this morning with the celebration of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. This feast was established by Pope Pius V. It is a thanksgiving. A thanksgiving for the prayer answered through the prayer of the Holy Rosary by soldiers who were fighting against the Turks. The Christian Europe was under the domination of Muslims for a long time, for a long time. And the battle has been going on and on and on. And while the soldiers were in the battle, they said for help, help of prayer. And it said that they, they, they prayed the rosary. And exactly on the first week of October, that was before the, 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 before the seven, then the Christian Europe got a victory. The soldiers conquered the Turks, the Muslims. And then, later on, then they attributed that the victory was miraculous because that has not happened before. And it was through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, through the prayer of the Rosary, that they did throughout Europe in that time. This is very important for us. It's very important for us to know that Mary prays for us. And that the rosary is a weapon for salvation. And but also in a very special way to fight against the enemies of our faith. When our faith is in trouble, we need to take refuge in the prayers of Mary. I put a quotation this morning on my Facebook page, the rosary as a storehouse of blessings. The rosary is a storehouse of all kinds of blessings. If there are souls that are hard to repent, to change their hearts, let bring them to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And through her intercession, we will definitely have the victory. And when I went to the pilgrimage on Saturday with the group to our Lady of the Woods, one of the things I, I taught them in the, during our travelings in the vehicle was the 15 promises, the 15 unfailing promises of the Blessed Virgin Mary to all those who are going to recite the rosary faithfully each day. And one of the promises is they will not die without receiving the sacraments of the church. And also another promise she made is that all those who say the rosary every day, even though they are sinners, they will conquer over their sins and they will be saved. Our Lady comes for peace. And I think since that uh, victory of Europe Christian in 1571, we have, we, we, we see we have not had as such a very strong war between Muslim and Christian again. 
But today we are having a serious war going on in the Middle East. And that's why the Pope on this very day is requesting for prayer. He wants us to pray, all Catholics, to pray the rosary today and to offer this Mass for peace in the Middle East. This is because what we, of what we heard in the first reading. The gospel we proclaim is only the gospel that the apostle received, not another gospel. It's not the gospel of vengeance. It's not the gospel of hatred. It's not the gospel of prosperity. But it's a gospel of peace. It's a gospel of love. And it's a gospel of compassion. It's also a gospel of truth. And that truth we find it's in the gospel. Jesus is that truth. He is the truth. But he is the compassion, the compassionate Samaritan, the good Samaritan, the true good Samaritan who came to us, who came down from heaven to save us. As we run away from the true garden and we were exposed to the power of the devil, to the power of Satan, we have been wounded, harmed, and left abandoned like the man who was wounded coming from Jerusalem to Jericho. And Jericho is that symbol of evil and danger. But Jesus came as the good Samaritan to save us. And he's inviting each and every one of us that if ever we want to be his disciples, we must become like him. Not looking at others with indifference. Not passing over the suffering of others. Not looking down at, at those who are harmed and hurt and wounded and even feeble and weak. But taking our responsibility like he did to bandage their wounds and to pour out the wine of healing and wine of love. The recommendation of Jesus is go and do likewise. Go and treat everyone as a neighbor. And the neighbor, the lawyer wanted to know, is the one who is in need. Every human being who is in need is that neighbor who will help us to climb to heaven. It is that neighbor when we help him when we take care of one another, we become the good Samaritan who continue the work of compassion and the work of love in our midst. May Our Lady of the Holy Rosary pray for us and help us to have a compassionate heart towards those we meet on the roads of Jericho. Jericho, as I say, it can be compared to Flint. It can be compared to Burton. It can
can be compared to any street of the world where children of God are left stranded on their own in need of a helping hands.